So I'm happy to have Ed Fries here at the Quo Vadis. Thank you for coming and taking your time. Thank you for correctly um, pronouncing my name. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect uh, the successful development to its actual dominance or importance um, and also the economic, uh, cultural and economic um, um, importance of the gaming industry? Did you expect that when you started in that industry? I don't know if expect is the right word I would use. I, I, I feel like this is a battle we fought for a long time, you know, a battle, you know, that we thought, hey, this, we're building a new medium, that it's really going to be important, that it's going to be more impactful ultimately than, than books or movies or TV, um, and um, that everyone will be a gamer someday. You know, things like that. Things I used to say in speeches 10 or 20 years ago, now I can't say them because they're just like, it's, well, self-evident, you know, it's like, it's happened, you know. Um, you know, in the U.S., probably a, a milestone for me was when the Supreme Court uh, recognized finally that video games have the same First Amendment protection, right of free speech, uh, as 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 books and movies, which to us in the business is like duh, but but it actually took you know more than a decade of, of litigation and uh, you know battles from state to state to state before we could finally get a ruling that you know this is actually an art form. <laughs> I actually have I'm, I'm going from here tomorrow to the Smithsonian, uh, where I have a game in the Smithsonian American Art Museum, and it'll be part of an art exhibit that opens uh, on Thursday. Um, and so again, that's, you know, recognition that uh, this is an important medium. Uh, it's not just, just entertainment. Yeah. Where do you see the, the future of the gaming industry? <laughs> I'm going to do a whole panel on that <laughs> next. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I think it's a really hard question. I have yeah. no idea what I'm going to yeah, say yeah. up there either. Uh, hopefully I'll get some good leading questions. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, obviously a lot of energy right now is, ar is around virtual reality. Um, you know, I'm a little bit, like most of the people who've been around the business a long time, I, I come into that a little bit skeptical, but I have tried a lot of the latest gear and, and it is, it's really compelling. Uh, it really makes you feel like you're somewhere else, which is a new experience. Um, but what does a game mean in that environment? Uh, it, it really, it, we, re, we need to reinvent once again what a game means and uh, that, that'll probably be another 20 years of work, uh, so that's good. <laughs> maybe it's too early, but um, do you see more future in the augmented reality thing or in the pure virtual reality I'm thing? I'm excited about both. Yeah. I mean, augmented reality is in some ways easier to get your head around because you can imagine, you know, just like Microsoft when they show the HoloLens demo of Minecraft right there on your table, the mixing of digital virtual things in reality is really cool. But it doesn't create this sense of presence of being in a different place, you know. So you, put, you put the latest Valve headset on and then it puts you wherever they want, you know. You're underwater and a giant whale is swimming by and it feels like you're really there. So I think they're two pretty different things and I think they're both interesting. We already talked a little bit about the his history, so historical speaking, you can say after a few decades with a new media or new new thing in the world, uh, the next thing came up. So we had theater, then we had the movies, uh -huh. then we had radio, <laughs> TV, yeah. and then we had games. Do you think games will be an episode, uh, historically speaking? <laughs> well, I mean, one thing I would say is that we have we still have all those things. So they're ands, you know, they're not ors. We didn't just stop reading books when we invented television, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, and so um, I, think, I think games will always have their place. Will, will new mediums be invented? Maybe, I don't know, sure, why not? <laughs> But, um, you know, for, for our, our medium, interactive entertainment, the idea that you could, you know, create a story and take someone in a new place, give them a human experience, but also let them have control, or at least that feeling of control, of actually being there. Is, it's different than hearing someone else's story or watching something happen to someone else. In a game, you really feel like you're there, you're the one making the decisions, and that, I think, is the fundamental difference between us and, and the earlier art forms. <laughs>